Hello, nice to have you join us on the set, the set of conversations where we speak and we speak boldly and things happen, we make changes. My name is Elizabeth Amaya and we, it's implicative because I am not here alone. I have lovely people, lovely ladies with me in the house. Let's start from uh, the very beginning. I want to say happy after pandemic, right? Yeah, post pandemic. <laughs> we are believers, so we We're trust believers. that this is done. Even though we are observing social distance. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my one has believed in God to do it. <laughs> it's all right. You know, it's nice to have you. Back. Thank you. <laughs> Titi Lai, it's nice to have you again. It's a pleasure to be okay. here. Again. You're done with service. Yes. Okay. Long, That's long good. Time. All right. And Zain, up two years after. Long time, no see. <laughs> <laughs> long time, no see. Even here, he said. Yeah. But I'm, I'm glad you, to have you back in it's the great house. Great to be back, too. All right. The show is Conversations. And today, we know that when God created the heavens and the earth, at the last bit of the creation, he created the man and the woman. And he says that um, he told the woman and the man, they must co-relate, they must co-inhabit, and they must move ahead. I'm not quoting the scripture, but I just know that in this world, there is a man and there is a woman, and that means there must be a relationship. But a lot of things go down with the relationship. One of them is finances. How do we cope? When does finances begin to be an issue in a relationship? Those will be our thrust for today's discussion and conversations. My name again is Elizabeth. We'll be going deep down into the conversations and um, that will be after this time out. Don't go away. Have you ever wondered why some men cannot finish using the towel and just hang it back somewhere in the bathroom? <laughs> why would they have to throw it on the bed? Little things like that, they put off. Have you ever wondered why a grown man with a wife and kids will go to the toilet, the lavatory, to ease himself to do number one, to pee, right? He takes the seat up, he flips out that thing. The moment he starts peeing, he flushes the toilet, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. the, toilet the toilet does its own bit. The flushing is done before the pee is done. And oh, so four liters of water is wasted. <laughs> The pee is still there. Oh my goodness. He doesn't put the seat back down. He doesn't reflush. He doesn't wash his hands. He walks away. Ooh. That's why I don't like shaking men, by the way. There's, there's a particular thing we know many men to be very, very guilty of, and that's throwing their shoes and stockings all over. Um, maybe men are going to be better, not throwing it around, but they can just, there's just all the hard on smelly feet and keep it for you in the living room. Women don't like it. If you're just joining us, you're right on time. It is conversations, and we did say that we'll be looking at relationship and finances as our topic for today. And I know that, you know, I'm not, I, it's not intentional to start with you, really, mm. but you've been far away for too long. Yeah. And uh, when a guy takes you out, who pays? When you and a guy go out, Maybe dinner out in a drink, who pays? For me, my philosophy is my money is my money. Your money is our money. So, <laughs> <laughs> and I have lived by it. So anybody that knows me knows if you're taking me out, you're paying for it. I have one younger brother. So if he's taking, if I'm taking him out, he's paying for it. No, if yeah. you're taking your younger brother out, he's you can paying pay. for it. No, wait, your brother too? He's paying for it. He's a man. He has money, he will pay for it. Oh. But uh, should, it, should that really be? Let me it like, should that really be? Okay, where should we start from? Because I don't want to stand on her own notion. No, it's you, quite, you're, it's you're quite, entitled it's quite, to your own opinion. <laughs> what she said right now is just quite a shocker. You're taking your brother out, he pays for himself. If you're a man, my brother, my cousin, I don't care who you are, you are paying okay. that bill. For me, if you're taking me out as a man, you're definitely paying the bills. But I am always considerate. Okay, so I'm not going to take you down to that part where you're going to overspend or you're going to pay too much. No, there are some things I might want to pay for myself. That would be at my own discretion. Mm -hmm. Okay, but and if I want to take you out, I'm paying because I know I'm taking you out. If you are taking me out as a man, definitely you're paying the bills, but I'm not going to do the cutthroats kind of spending. Definitely. You know, I, I, I've always heard that um, when, it's, uh, when, it, when a man says, let me take you out. 
Then the bill is on the man. But when a woman says, let me take you out, or let's go out, mm. well, the bill is on the woman. I don't know. Must he always be on the man? That's my own. Is she yeah. laughing? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think my stand is a mixture of, the, of both, both right. of them. Mm -hmm. She's talking from a 100% traditional point of view. Mm -hmm. The man foots it all. I totally get where she's coming from. You don't impose your expenses on somebody. You don't know what they can do. Mm -hmm. But as you said, I feel he who does the invitation, he who offers the invitation should be the person. I would not ask you to come, let's go for a meal, and then still expect you to foot the bill, because I don't know at that point in time if, unfortunately, I'm a bit different because from a different generation, obviously yeah. different um, culture and background. I don't come from a background where in the first place you go out with a, for a meal with somebody of the opposite gender. Uh, uh, so, you know, I don't have any experience of that, but as an outsider to, the, to that, I still would think it is off point to invite somebody out and then expect them to pay, in all honesty, unless, unless you let that person know in advance, okay, I want us to go for it, but we, will you foot the bill? And in case that person says yes, then I'll go by her. Try not to order the lobsters and the <laughs> champagnes and the calamari. Yes, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Try to because I wouldn't want that somebody to do that to me. Some people are too embarrassed to say I cannot afford these things you are you are ordering. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't be nice to box that person in a corner where they will have to expose their financial status at that time. I feel it's so. Definitely yeah. not. But <coughs> culturally speaking, though, I'm from the part of the world, Nigeria, where. We say in our language, it means Interpret. you pet a man. Mm -hmm. Like you, you, there's a way you you carry a man. So to help boost a man's ego, you let him spend in my oh, side really? of the world. Yes. So no matter how little it is, he has he has to. It makes you know, feel like yes, a man. Yes, he seems like a man. man. So even if I have so much money. When I go out with a man, he has to pay because for me, then in his head, he has achieved, he has arrived. Even if you initiated the outing? Yes. It's but just to make the man feel good. Oh, when he's spending his money, he's feeling good. Some men just do these things to prove a point. Especially yeah. when they're trying to impress a, a lady, they do it to prove a point. And me, I'll allow you to prove your point. No, I understand all that, but the timing, you know, I'm sure there will be some days that billionaires really don't have enough money as we think they you do better eat in the time. house because we are not going out <laughs> <laughs> so we have to force him to express that to in the house and eat <laughs> or better take out because don't go and embarrass yourself <laughs> it's true <laughs> well, <laughs> but, but do you know that this situation has really created some kind of embarrassment for some people who actually ask ladies out on a dinner mm -hmm. and the ladies get there and they see also the things they really love to drink and they just order everything and by the time the waitress comes back with the bill he it says it's 40,000 naira and he says okay I'll be right back and where does he go he says he's going to the bathroom and no this is a real life mm -hmm. story it happens a lot. yes somewhere in Lagos and the guy disappeared Okay, and he made his friends know that, oh, I went out on a date with these ladies and they wanted to turn me into their ATM and look, I cannot foot the bill. 40,000 there, what did we drink, what did we eat? And he disappeared. By the time the waitress waited for a while, she came back, he was nowhere to be found. They could not pay the bill and they had to go wash the dishes. The ladies yes. turn to dishwashers. Yes. You see, that's where vex yes. money comes in. Exactly. I was going that's to That's where vex money comes in. <gasps> that, that was what if, happened. If I'm going day. out with a guy yeah. mm -hmm. and I'm choosing the venue, regardless, mm -hmm. I have to have enough money to double the bill. If that ever happens, mm -hmm. I'm paying for it. And I won't even call you out. That, but we are done. No, but but then you actually pushed that person to a, to a situation where they could not help see, it. See, there's something we call class. You know, you have to know your place. Respect your place and stay in your own place. If you want to take me out, I'm sure maybe you've had a conversation with me. You should be able to assess what my kind mean? of person, what I like, the places I go. Mm -hmm. And then you tell me you want to take me out and you ask me to suggest. Let's use Abuja. We are in Nigeria. We are in mm -hmm. Abuja, for example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I say I want to go to the Hilton to mm -hmm. eat. Mm -hmm. You should know if that is not your pay grade, if that's yeah. not on your level, mm -hmm. don't set yourself up for failure. 
you know. You say we should go to a booker and everything. And I said I'm not coming because I'm not going to enter the booker. Then you go and find somebody that is comfortable going with you to a booker. Simple. Don't aim high Hi. when you are here. Don't do that to yourself. You're setting yourself up for failure. You know, you know what she actually said? I, I, I recall growing up, we heard all, all of that, you know, vex money. Mm -hmm. I think it, it goes even beyond just going out to eat. I always tell my younger ones those days when they come mm -hmm. to visit me and they say, I'm going and transfer money. I said, uh -huh. no, I need to see your money first. If you don't have money, your return ticket, then I won't give you anything. You have to earn that money because it's a culture. We should be able to always carry enough on us. Uh, in our local palace, we call it vex money. <coughs> but it's vex actually money. very important. I can imagine myself going to a Hilton to eat. At the end of the day, you go and wash head. plates. Yeah. No, After no, no. you finish taking That's pictures, <laughs> selfies. <laughs> what, 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 what I'm commenting on, what she says is all fine and good. Yes. But the Hilton um, example you gave is you said if he knows he couldn't afford Hilton, he shouldn't have taken you to Hilton. I'm talking of the of the example where you are the one who initiated the outing. The person just came to visit you or you went to visit them and then you'll tell the person, okay, let's let's go out for a meal. Okay, yes. then that's 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 what that's what I call Dutch. Yeah. All right, where if four of us go to eat and I choose the location, we all contribute and pay the bills. I know it's low life, mm. but over there, um, outside of this country, where people are civilized and actually take responsibilities for their bills, mm -hmm. you can split the bills. Yeah. But here in Nigeria, people don't see Dutch as anything it's like, oh, you invited me, I have to pay. Don't feel guilty when I ask us to split this bill. No, but another thing I think, uh, guys should actually learn to speak out. Assuming maybe it's a girl you're still dating mm -hmm. and um, you're thinking about a relationship that is permanent, you should be open enough with this young lady. That's my take. If the person says, okay, I want to go and eat in Sheraton, in Transco or whatever, mm -hmm. and you know that the money you have at that time cannot carry to the place, make another suggestion and say, let's do it this way. Okay, why don't we even buy something and get back to the house, okay, you know, and cook data. and mm -hmm. just have something, some kind of fun. When the money is available, I'm going to take you down there, you know, much more later. It doesn't have to, you don't need to swallow. And even when you go to Transco, it's your wife, it's your girlfriend. You don't need to, it's tell everything me. on the menu, oh, tell man her. or woman. Babe. All those men, they always have their price tag yes, now beside it. Course. My budget is no more than 10,000 naira. So whatever you're selecting, nice now, really. look at the price before yeah. you look at the menu. A lot of men avoid that because, as she said, there's this ego that has been instilled in our men from infancy. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to face somebody and say to them, I don't have money. In all honesty, no, it's not easy. Even a parent to say that to their child, much less, you know, a guy that wants to impress a babe. Because, you know, babes, are just, uh, he's Ijebu, he's too like this with his son, you know. No, but look, no, she, she looks guilty. Do you see? She's, she, looks, she looks very guilty. It sounds like I'm quoting her in her own voice. That yes, that's 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 I just that's feel it can't be right to have to force somebody to uh -huh. expose you know the situation they're yeah, in. But this I is just like my first the, personal... I think these men should learn to communicate, all right? Honestly speaking, communication. Communication works if the, the receptor is receptive. As I said, there are some people who will actually come down to, I'm sorry, I'm having a lot of um, uh, money issues now or their bills. Maybe we can do it next week. And one minute, you, next minute, you're all fast. over Twitter or Instagram. I don't his Ijebu, you just see me flashy guy, you don't get CC. You know, this is what happens. Oh, no. <laughs> it's, okay. it's true, but like uh, she said, uh, there's, every, there's a, it, always a girl for, for that man. Mm -hmm. There's always a man for that girl. Mm -hmm. If you go to meet A, relationship is not all about physical appearance. Mm -hmm. For me, the character, the inner person is more important because as you really ends up in marriage, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's going to take for a long time. And that long time means the physical appearance will diminish. What will stay, it's that inner personality. Mm -hmm. So if you're meeting a girl and all she's concerned about is your pocket, and you, you're not that frivolous, you know, you know that's not the road to go to, you know. You can leave such a babe and look for another person. And I, I, I will actually be uh, happy if I meet a guy, you know, mm -hmm. and 
we have to go out. Even if it's the first time, before you ask a girl, a girl to go out to eat with you, you, you may have had a, a conversation for a while. Yes. So in the course of that conversation, that girl would have known you a little bit. If I now mm -hmm. say, okay, let's go out to eat, and is expected you will pay, mm -hmm. and you tell me, okay, we can't spend more than 20000 This is a, a beginning of a month, I mean, mm -hmm. end of a month. Mm -hmm. Salary never come. Or even open up and say, no, we can't eat now. Let's do it next, next week. week. You may not tell me why, but within me, I may begin to suspect all those excuses because the money is not there and you don't want to open up. But all I ask is, when it's available, make sure that you fulfill your promise. But speaking about permanent relationship, we also know that um, from girl, friend, boyfriend, it moves to marriage. Yes. And when marriages happen, more responsibilities. Not that they don't go out, mm -hmm. but they begin to plan for children, they begin to plan for houses, to own a home, rent. they begin to plan for a lot of things, rent and all that. There is need for savings. Okay. And in saving, some uh, couples have actually gone out to do joint accounts. Yeah. Some say, it's not for me. Modalities of operation, we don't know. But uh, let me, Titilaya, I know you're preparing something in the future. I don't want to say it in national TV. Would you, you know, quickly go for joint account? No, and yes. Why? Okay. A joint account is not a bad idea. Depends on the people involved and what their financial interests are. I can do it, but it's going to be for maybe allotted expenses. What are we having this joint account for? But that doesn't mean that I would not run my independent account. So I can have my independent account in that. You can have yours too, but we can also have this one that we use it for some particular things. So we are not touching it unless it's for those things that we have already split it, split it out for. So that is the only reason why I would do that. So where we're going to have issues, I know you've not asked me that question, but where we're going to have issues is if you go behind my back to touch it, and use it for something we're not supposed to use it for, mm -hmm. then we're really gonna have an we're really gonna have a problem. We'll have to talk about it. Because that is gonna be a betrayal of trust. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You're talking about it. Some people actually fight about it. They don't yeah. they don't talk about it. <laughs> but why is it that we never ever get it right when it comes to joint accounts? Again, I'm from a different background. I think joint account is the worst thing ever. I will not have a joint account with my own shadow. With your own shadow? Uh, not with my shadow, not wow. with my claim, not with my twin, not with my soul, not with my spirit, nothing. Wow. For so many reasons, as I said, I'm talking purely from the cultural training yeah. I have. Mm -hmm. She said something that I know that's why people have um, joint accounts. There might be a common project that you're going through and everything. But let's face it. Marriages, especially marriages of today, are not the strongest institutions on the planet. Yes. Human beings nowadays, men and women, are not the most trustworthy creatures you can find. Correct. Things happen, and then the fights come. Forget the person sneaking behind you to do something that you know. But, um, okay, I'll give you examples of things that happen in my part of the country. Polygamy is very common, mm -hmm. you know. And tell me the wife that will tolerate her husband going to remarry, and they have a gender. Because account. the first thing she think is, my he money. is using our money to, yes. to do this. When we wanted to change car, when we wanted to build house, when we wanted to, oh yeah, we were using it to pay our rent, and now we are going to get rent for somebody or bring somebody to this house. I know, go agree. Just see again. I have seen this happen in a million instances. I have seen that happen. I, I, I really, I really cannot do it. As I said, I don't see myself shouting mm -hmm. and raking because somebody is using their money. But money is a sensitive thing. Money can can turn saints into demons. It can turn angels into devils. You know, as they say, it's that root of evil. It's best to just keep it separate. If you feel like um, sharing expenses, let it be, okay, I'll take care of this part of the expenses and you take care of that. And that's still another thing. You, as you said, you put, the, you put your monies together to do something. Still by my cultural training and my religious training, as a wife, even if I earn a billion dollars a month, I don't have to buy a suite. Hmm? As a man, if you are a laborer, you have to cater for every single yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. Anything I do is out of the goodness of my heart. So, two, three, your money is your money. 
Uh, yes, our uh, money. Yes, but that our money is our money. I will not abuse it, and we are not encouraged to abuse it. Yeah. You know, we are not encouraged to abuse it. But I do not see why, bec because we are a family. Uh, I will be expected. This is something that has been entrenched in me for decades. This is how my society yeah, is. This is what my religion says. <coughs> there is no way, as a wife, I am supposed to contribute one naira. Yeah. To the all, running I, 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 of, all, all of religion and, uh, this is somehow, gets. somehow. I, mean, yeah, I, I kind of like this one. <laughs> maybe there's no, maybe, maybe there's no <laughs> sure that. Your cards is not easy. <laughs> maybe yes, that, you know, it's not easy. Let the like man go off his so long. Yeah, but then there, there's something that we are to do all the time too. There's something that is our own duty. And if the man does it, it's out of the goodness of his heart. Which, which is mostly we are supposed to run the house. It doesn't mean slave. It just means we are the we are the organizers of the house. A man is encouraged to bring in households and everything, but we manage them. We run them. We dis we discipline the children. You know, we we make life comfortable and happy. We are like but hostesses, but not one naira. There is nowhere that I will run in. We will run this thing. Yeah. 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 So, so, so for those, for those, for those, for those couples where they, where, where they all contribute, yeah. you know, the woman works and contributes, he works and contributes. But have you ever noticed that on a Saturday or Sunday morning, he's lying down in bed while she's preparing soup for the week? Yes. Have you ever noticed it is sad that the children wake up for breakfast? Mm. Why are we not sharing that? Honestly, well, I keep asking the same gender question. Roles. Gender roles. Because well, gender uh, when roles. the man and the woman is contributing equally, <laughs> I mean, they earn a living, the man should also come out and do the house chores. Which is the reason woman. why I am against, like she has said, mm. I agree with both of them, but on different mm -hmm. levels. levels. Um, I'm, I might have a joint account with my spouse if it has to do with children's school fees, mm -hmm. vacation. I'd, I'd, I'm not going to have a joint account for house rent or building a house. It's your job. But children's school fees, vacation, I know that because um, um, for school fees, the kids did not beg us to bring them to the world. So Definitely. we need to be responsible for them. Definitely. We need to be. And I take education very serious. So we have to send them to the best of schools. And anything can happen in this economy. Anything can happen. You can wake up and... The economy is bad, you don't have so much money, but you need to pay the school fees. And then vacation, where you introduce these kids and yourself to a certain lifestyle, you need to maintain it, you know. Um, I'm not saying it's compulsory, but at least once a year. So it's fine, I could contribute something towards that. That is all. I'm not buying the, food. The, the, I'm, the vacation. I'm not, I, I might as well clothe myself, but I'll, you, you have to give me monthly, even if I'm working at any one millionaire a month. I'm expecting my monthly stipends from my man. Like, I really, really need to say this out. Yeah. So that he knows what he's signing up for. You know, you know he's the, aware. The thing is, uh, you know, uh, without your, uh, you know, speaking it real loud, I sincerely believe that if you love, you must give. It and goes uh, hand hand. it goes hand in hand. That's what we are thought. And then mm. um, um, that's what I think is practical. If as the giving I'm talking about is not just the man Madden giving the woman. Mm -hmm. The man, even the Holy Scripture says that the man who cannot cater for his home mm -hmm. is as good as an infidel. Mm -hmm. So that means he is not responsible. He must take care of his mm -hmm. home. But like you said, you can wake up. Something goes wrong. The woman, if you're working, you should be able to help. But going back to the joint account, I, I know some women, when we were starting this topic, I tried to talk to one or two. They were very vehement, just like you said, said no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. And the reason is the men who always, you know, try to be the man, try to lord it over you, the money you people save up, they'll always look for that excuse mm -hmm. to borrow from that money. Women actually find it easy to save money. A woman yeah. knows that as she's spending that money for her head, mm -hmm. that there must be food in the house. There mm -hmm. must be medical care, you know. The men, on, on. Uh, incidentally, often do not think that way. A man has money in his pocket, and um, his friend doesn't have, and ask him. He forgets that his family needs it. He will take it and give to you, and then go back to the wife, say, Madam, I gave this to was money. I, I do vacations. I love vacations. I'm crazy about vacations. I don't come. I've been waiting for them to open airport. You understand? <laughs> I practically wake up in the night to pray at bed. Do you understand? 
I do it all out of my money. Since we are talking of joint account, yeah. so what I said is the man should take care of those essentials, food, clothing, shelter, medication, and any time I know he genuinely cannot afford it, I will give it out of my money. But that joint account, you know, they pay my government. Because I know I know the truth. That's just the truth. I cannot. I would, I would just I, I would just constantly be nervous and because to me money is a sensitive issue. I just feel worried that maybe any time I have an issue with you and I look at you and can you start thinking, Oh, is it because of the money, money that we have yeah. put together? You know, so I don't. so my saying no joint account doesn't mean I will not help out a lot. But vacations especially I take it to be my personal responsibility because I love doing it and I don't see why I should impose it on my husband when he has so many other things, things to, do. to do. He has an extended family, you know, his parents are there, his siblings are there, cousins are there, and then me, I'll be saying I want to go, me and children want to do vacation. So I'm taking that on myself. But that joint account... is not good mm, for your government. No. <laughs> and yes, <laughs> and in case he actually gives his friend, he dashes his friend something and it happens with us, I will easily give out of my own but just know the next time you give me chop money i will i will Take give up yes yes i know you know how to do that thing a lot after you've spent your money the way you want it no problem and then when there is another list of things to get you mm -hmm. have another budget you just impute that one and you say that one is my money the money that he collected before i get my money back so nobody's hoeing nobody yes That's yes i do it yes oh yeah. uh, no you have to know my friend I, I write list maybe market list i'm like um, you owe me 6,000 naira, so I'm adding it to the list. The total is what you're giving me. And it's like, who does that? I said, I, I do it. <laughs> me, I do it. <laughs> Don't owe me. It's essential. It's essential. <laughs> when we money, money from their wives, they think it's, um, it, it's a giving, it's our money. Mm -hmm. Payback. So that's why it's good to Payback. disabuse them of that notion. Yes, a payback. And even if we do joint account, don't think it's, uh, it's your it's personal your thing. No, mm -hmm. I don't think so. Another thing that worries me with joint account is the men will always think the money should be 50 50. no yep. i sincerely do not think so no. if my own honest opinion if your wife is earning more than you mm -hmm. then you probably may have to do 50 50 because she's earning more yeah. than you yeah. if you are earning more than your wife it should be 70 30. Yeah. Ask me why and I will explain. Mm -hmm. Why? Okay. I, still, I, still, I even support it before you explain it. Okay, you support it, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the reason is women have more expenditure than the men. It's true. true. That. Yes. Any weekend, a woman, especially if you have children who are also ladies like you, mm -hmm. by the time they get to do their hair, mm -hmm. and it's usually very hard for a wife to go up and say to the husband, Danny, can you give us 100000 I want to go to salon. Can you give us 50,000? want to go and do hair. Oh, you know, shopping. you feel like it's too what heavy. Is that? What for are you talking to say? about? So you rather collect 20,000 for you and, and probably add up three girls. Money. Then yeah. add up your yes. own. Do you understand? Because you don't want no, him to scream. She does not agree. But you, you're going to go to that <laughs> salon. You're going to do hair. You <laughs> do know, your nails. Do nails. Do facials. All those stuff. By the time you're done, you spend about 50. Meanwhile, you took only 50,000 for your husband. What am I doing it for? Mm -hmm. Is it for him? It's for him now. Baby mommy. That is why I said I will not impose on him what he cannot. If he cannot afford to pay for a Brazilian wig, I think that's the expensive one. Yeah. I said, yeah, I don't use it. If he cannot afford to, uh, then I'll go to Mama Iabo and I'll play Didi. Mm -hmm. But I, like I will not pay for my beauty treatments. What is that? Especially if he's very big or not. If he's someone who's a fan of you, must uh, you must do that. And then, and then, and then, and then it will shame me to ask you for the money. Say, if yeah. I can't. No, no, no. But no, no, no actually, you know, you said, you said uh, okay, 70, 30. I'm not willing to discuss any modality of joint account, be it 99 one. Mm. <laughs> because it is so not so going to okay. happen. It's yes, done like this. I said, me, in this topic, I'm just a casual bystander. <laughs> but I'm, I'm fuming already, honestly. <laughs> but what yes. I'm going to advise people who are not in a committed relationship, marriages, especially women, if you are working, buy all the gold you can get now. Buy all the hair you can get now. Just mm -hmm. buy the things that make you happy that would last for a long time. Because, like, your culture is different from our own. Mm -hmm. A guy can come today, he's all flamboyant, everything is going good, and, you know, you marry him and then you forget yourself. And into the marriage is not as it seemed. You know, the, the more you look, the less you see. But you need to keep up 
with yourself, not for the society this time around, just to make yourself happy. You can fall back to the things you had. The gold, the hair. Uh, if it pleases because, you to do that. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can hair, back, not but if you now want to depend on this man, then you're going to become a shadow of yourself. You're going to become depressed because when you tell him, give me 50,000 naira to buy hair, on a good day, hair is not 50,000 naira. And he says, I can't take 15. You start, you start becoming... You are expecting more. You start becoming depressed. You start becoming angry. Mm -hmm. And you really cannot say it because he can't see reasons with you. That why can't you manage 15,000 naira? I'll take 15,000. In three months, I'll ask for another 15. No. I'll be saying, no, no, you need to do the hair. Ah, yeah. I'll actually, I'll actually no, 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 good. Anyway, personally, personally, I cut my cloth according to my yeah. needle and thread, mm -hmm. not even my cloth or my cloth this time. When I marry a man, I believe he's the Lord and Master. In some instances, he's, he's Alpha and Omega. Yeah. So if he cannot afford 50,000, as you're saying, for a beauty treatment, he can only afford 15, I'll be very content and happy to step down to that 15, honestly. If it's something I desperately want for myself this time, then I'll, I can now buy it for my own self. That's the difference. Mm. Who are you doing it for? For you, because a lot of women, you know, they, they buy their own these kind of things. The men don't want to or they can't afford it. But they don't wear them until the day they are going to accompany the man on his office company dinner or something. And then you go and be blowing guy. People will say, ah, this man's wife, ah, he's really he taking said, care ah. of his no, no, no. You know, uh, so it depends on the kind of heart you, you, you have, yeah. honestly. But if you cannot afford 50000 to give me, I am very happy to temper my treatment, my beauty treatment down to 15,000. Provided it won't make you... We still can't won't do joint account. Uh, you won't do joint account, we know. <laughs> <laughs> we know. <laughs> we know. <laughs> it does not favor your government. <laughs> 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 but then... Uh, okay, 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 I, I to ask, this talking about finance and um, relationships, in marriage, what, hap what about the extended family? Why I'm asking this is because I've seen situations where man and wife have said, you take care of your family, I'll take care of my family. Because, you know, like in the Igbo tradition, you will find a man easily, you know, excited to maybe build a house for his in-laws and all that. But some other cultures, it's difficult. When you marry somebody, especially maybe young couples, 28, 29, marry, I'm just managing a small job, 250K. The whole family now thinks I have mm. arrived. Mm. You know, for it's, it's, a, it's challenging. These people are trying to build. So... That situation, how do we balance it? Okay, we're going to find a balance to that, but let's quickly take a break. When we we'll come back, I'm sure Zena will answer you that question. When there's a child out there that's not getting the same that your own child is getting, the difference will tell, and there will come a time in the society where that child is going to take his pound of flesh. Where you can actually, ev everything from watching a, a program with the child, you can start up the conversation from something on the TV and yeah. say, oh, you know. <laughs> for, me, for me, it's like hurry up with this business. Mm. And the other one said, I see it's not about me, it's about the guys, it's they're not ready the to marry. Yes. So if she wants to ask something, no, I know my mother very well. <laughs> In fact, the most interesting one is when I put up pictures on WhatsApp, you know, Snapchat filters and all that, she will call me. Mm -hmm. Remove that picture. <laughs> <laughs> I, there was a day I got tired of all that. This show is still conversation and we have been having it real hot. We're not tabling the men, really. It's a uh, ladies' corner and we say just the way we like it. It never started a conversation, mm -hmm. and which was actually more like a question. And behind the camera, Zainab has been boiling. <laughs> I am still boiling. You are still boiling. How? He says the answer is not joint accounts. Please. <laughs> We want to hear it from your government. <laughs> <laughs> my government, the, my government decrees no joint account. If you want, if you want it all to end well, but individual differences. Oh, there are some people honestly that cannot save 
unless it's in a joint account. And there are some people that both parties, they have integrity, mm -hmm. you know, the, the problems we see. Even if I feel 100% safe with you, I just rather not join money issues, honestly. I'd rather not join money issues. You know, in regards to what you ask, I, I know that in every relationship, the ladies mm -hmm. always have a way of taking care of their home, much more than mm -hmm. the men. I have observed that a man may not remember to call his mom or his dad, but a woman most often will call the parents almost every, every day, day, if not every other day. That is the ones that are very busy. Mm -hmm. And the man may not remember to you know, give the mom monthly Money. or weekly stipends, no matter what it is, mm -hmm. but the girl never forgets. All I just say in response to your question is, there's no fast rule as to it. If you're really in to marry the man, I'm talking about a woman now, mm -hmm. you should be able to take care of your mother, your father, as well as take care of your in-laws. Because in my place, we say in-law is the third family. You know, all go be quieto. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, you 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 take care of your family as much as you take care of your. Mm -hmm. If a man forgets, you you know footing the bill for him. After all, going by my uh, dialect again, we say manage I will interpret. You know how you mold the egusi for the soup, mm -hmm. those mm -hmm. small, small lumps, mm -hmm. and there's always oil. Mm -hmm. To get that oil, you need to pound the egusi very well. So the oil comes out. You now take the same oil to mold the egusi. So the money you're giving to his mom is still his money. Yeah. So if the men understand it that way, things will be easy. So they make all their money and give to their woman. If they make the woman happy, the woman make their family rosy, including the extended family. Mm -hmm. Moving from joint accounts, in relationships, we still have um, um, issues like nest of kin. We okay. have had issues when people die, especially the men. Mm -hmm. You will find out that they have brothers that never were alive. Suddenly they resurrect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, where do they come from? And then you find out that these brothers didn't resurrect for nothing because they actually knew that the brother used them. <coughs> it's happened in many organizations. Mm -hmm. These things may have happened in error. Probably before I got married, I got a job. And then I opened an account, the nest of kin, I used my brother, mm -hmm. or maybe my kids were like a year or two, I felt they were too mm -hmm. small. Mm -hmm. I used my brothers, I used my sisters. As the job, you know, as I grew bigger in the job, my children equally grew. I got married, had children, they grew. I will completely forget, forget to, go and change. to go back and change it. Then suddenly the man dies. The wife who is a full-time housewife, is left with nothing. nothing because you are not the next of and you. then if you are unlucky to come from um a, a, a tribe that is a matrilineal in nature mm -hmm. your story is as good as dead because nothing is left for you and even when the man wills sometimes they'll still contest it how do we go about changing this <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, today all the three things you talked about are things that I really cannot comment mainstream on. Still quoting religion and my culture. What I understand you mean money released next of kin is what will, is supposed to be like a form of inheritance. Yes. yes. In my religion, in various chapters of the Quran, the God, our God has divided inheritance apart, uh, among certain people down to the last penny. So whether I am the next of kin. His father is the next of kin. The Amy of our town is next of kin. The president of the it does not matter. Oh. Everybody, every member of the family, and there are conditions. The, the, uh, God says in some places, if he has one wife, this is her percentage. If it's two, so so percentage to be shared to them. If he has a father but no uh, sons, this is the percentage. Everything has, it's one of the most intense and complex parts of the Sharia law. When you are studying Sharia law in university, it is a topic that takes three years to study. You need to study more than a medical student, you know. It is so precise. So 
where I come from, my background, this issue of next of kin That's is right. absolutely right. impossible. It so just even, if, even if I have next of kin, yes. like I work in NTA, I don't know how much they pay you when you die mm -hmm. or when you retire. Mm -hmm. Because and we're talking about yeah. death now. Mm -hmm. And of course the form is... Reading. It says next of kin. Mm -hmm. And then I put maybe... My brother's name. Your brother will come and collect it because that's what the documentation. Uh, uh, but okay. the minute he collects, he takes it to the uh, Sharia judges because they are the ones who share inheritance. Whoever oh, okay. dies, all the so after after the payment of debts, mm. you know, they will announce who is uh, uh, who this has money with this you. person. Mm -hmm. Then that is all. Wife, automatically, this is your paternity. Daughters, this is your own. Father, if any. Mother, if any. Brothers, if at all. Because there are some conditions where brothers inherit. Mm -hmm. There are some they don't. It depends on if the person has children or if he doesn't or if the mother is alive or if the father. There are conditions. Whoever the next of kin is, the person has to submit the money back to the religious authorities for distribution to the heirs. So this, this thing does, just does not happen under my culture and religion, if you're following it that way. That's why I said, so I really cannot mm. comment. My, it's a clear-cut case. It just it's cannot actually, come from here. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very it clear. It makes mm. a lot of sense mm. because it's there are places clear. where you go to. There are some places where you go to. This nest of king thing mm -hmm. is a big issue. Oh, I've yeah. seen it. I've seen when it. When the man issue. dies, probably it's if you're not issue. careful, they kill the woman as well. It's a big issue. Because mm -hmm. they want to inherit things. That and is after she has been forced to pay for the burial. I've seen it happen. She has to pay for the burial, then they'll collect everything. In fact, the, the woman I'm talking about, he, he, he left one radio, transistor radio, at the repairman. They told her to go and fix it, pay the bills, and then bring it again for them to take. And it, this happened, she is not from Kano. Um, you know, she's a, another part of the country. But I was in Kano, and all of us, even neighbors were coming to say, Allah, see, this is how there are people. We just could not believe that such a thing could happen. But then as I started coming out more into the world, into society, they didn't have to say, okay, this is what happens exactly, in a lot of this cases. This is reality. It's reality. Mm -hmm. I'm it's sure. Awful. But I think um, in a lot of ways, the, the customary laws uh, actually helps the woman. It's all behoves of the man to do the need for why you're still alive. And we're not talking about only men. Women inclusive. If you have a brother, if mm -hmm. you have a sister, good. You're tied by blood. But when you're married, you have a child. Those children, like Noble said earlier, did not beg themselves to come to the world. Mm -hmm. You probably prayed when you couldn't have it for five years, ten years, the children came. It's their right to be treated well. And if death happens, the man goes. Those children still be, should be treated well. Mm -hmm. And I don't think any mother would uh, inherit the, the husband's wealth and not take care of, of the, the children. children. It's not possible. But if you give your money to your brother or your sister, that one has his family. Yes. That one has a family. So the, your, your own family who owns this money becomes mm -hmm. extended family. And it's really, really rough. It's, it, 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 before you know, maybe if the first one year, the first two years, they'll be treated well. But after that, you begin to hear, you, how much did your father leave? Uh, stories. Mm -hmm. How much did your father leave? Has he not finished? This one I'm struggling. Some people even inherit company. At the end of the day, the owners of a real, the, the real owners of a company, five years down the line, they don't get to get a dividend mm -hmm. anymore. They will tell you, your father, when he left this company, had only 100,000. It's me that work and built it to this level. If the man didn't start it, would you have seen the one to work with? In fact, that's, I was going to ask that question. The company and shares and relationship now, not marriage, because um, it's tricky if you're in a relationship I mean, why I, I use the word relationship is because we expect that relationship should lead to marriage, else you're wasting your time. Then a woman starts her company and a man starts his company, two different companies. Mm -hmm. How much shares? How do you protect each other's interest? Or should I just do my own? You do your own. And in, it's, it's conflicting. I don't know. Do you impose that the man must give you shares in his company. You people are not married yet, but you mm -hmm. intend to marry. Um, and do, will you feel bad if he does the same to you, that, okay, give me so and so amount of shares in your company, and you, it's, I don't know if you That's get what... That's still another way of doing joint account. <laughs> 
And you see, you see this, the problem of this death. And I see the problem of joint account. The person dies, and then next of you will come and start, and then you start saying, no, 70% of the money in that account is my own. Well, how, you know, how do you, how do you iron that out? You know, so uh, what you're saying about this company, mm -hmm. it is still another form of joint account. Why should I own a company and then you start asking I should give you shares and then you keep your shares or keep my own? Simple. So we both help each other to grow each other's companies. Yes. And, and whoever friends. dies first, if you're operating under Islamic sh law, mm -hmm. if I'm a wife, I know automatically I have one eighth of whatever it is you're leaving behind. Whatever, big, small, if you have half of the planet, if you have just this bottle of drink, I know one eight percent has been decreed onto me by God and nobody can touch it. That's a good one. Well, That's a I good feel one. that we should always have a legal binding to all these things. Whether you have a company as the husband or the woman has, at least you know you're going to have children later. But in the case where they're not yet married, you might have had other people who have shares. Mm -hmm. But as time goes on, if you get married, just know that you, you're also bringing up a family and you're projecting to get somewhere else in life. Maybe there are other things that you plan to do and these things are your investment. These are your assets. So you should include your children in whatever you're doing because I know the story of a family where the father was assassinated and the children were left with almost nothing because the brothers were the next of kin. You know, he's had children who, the firstborn had already finished with the university and she was not part of the company yet. Even though she comes around to see what daddy does in his company, what kind of business does he run, but yes, she did not have a ship. But she had to fight and she had to get herself a lawyer. That was the only thing that was the turn, turning point for mm -hmm. them, or else they would have been left with absolutely nothing. And their lives were even at risk while they were fighting for that. Mm -hmm. So it's the job, it's the, it's the role of the parents, the man and the woman. You just have to. Think about the future of your children and whatever you're doing. You don't have to start something and then you get careless and irresponsible with it at the end of the day because you don't know what's going to happen when you're not there. I feel like nobody knows tomorrow. It boils down to us making sure that we have a wheel. Some people mm -hmm. will tell you, I don't have anything yet, so I'm not writing the wheel. I, if your culture is not as much as uh, Zainab just educated us with her own, mm -hmm. it's important, it's imperative, in fact, that you do have a will to protect your loved ones, to protect your sweat. Because you may finish working, you know, one of those your enemies in your family <laughs> will be the one to come and chop your liver. It is better you have it all structured out so that your loved ones can inherit what you have. On a very parting note, I, 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 I know you're planning something. Let me not say it out loud. But one of okay. the things I'm going to shout it to you. I think you have it already. Have I? Well, I'm sure we can. I think she knew what you're talking about. Uh, okay. I do too. Everybody should. Oh, okay, so everybody <laughs> You guys do so, too. It's okay. <laughs> So how would you, you mm. know, structure your home when okay. it comes to footing bills? Mm. Well, I had that conversation yesterday and it went well because it boils down to responsibilities, okay, and uh, personal interests. So this is it. He is going to be mostly responsible for many of the things. Deb is going to be taking care of the house. Like anything that has to do with running the home, he's going to be taking care of a lot of it. But I am going to just contribute a particular percentage. So it's not um, clearly cut out yet, but this is going to be based on agreement. So we're not going to walk into it and, um, oh, this thing, we don't have this anymore. We need gas or we need that. And then you start saying, okay, let me give you, no, no, no. It is going to be stuck structured. Okay, so that we do not have any problems at the end of the day. There are some things because you can't structure. Have you wondered when in law will come in suddenly? No, okay, you see, that was one thing we did not talk about because I wished we did talk about that. Just because right. for me, before we start the whole thing, you need to know who you're going to be taking care of. I need to know who you want to be taking care of, okay? And when we get married, it's not going to be the same anymore. We're going to have children. We might want to build a house or something. So it's not going to be the same thing, except you're going to have additional streams of income. Even at that, you need to save. You need to protect or, yeah, secure the future, of, um, secure our future and the future of the children. So you have to know who and who you're going to be taking care of, okay? So, so if, if you was paying school fees for... 
um, maybe mm -hmm. 20 people of his relations. You can't you know? be taking, you can't be paying yeah, yeah, so because he's marrying you, no. drop 10. Well, he has to. Oh. He has to. See, that's where they will call you a bad wife. I was just about to say, he's calling you a bad wife. 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 It's going to be strategic. It's not going to be like, oh, because I'm getting married now, so every one of you, he's going to have to have that talk with them. Yes. But if it's something that he can carry on, you can carry on with it, but I'm not going to be supporting that. For real. Let me, I'm yes. not, we're not in this situation, you... but let me tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. If that kind of situation is happening, yeah. start telling him to cut it down for that now, is what before you guys that become legal. That is what legal. I meant. So you don't if have to not. bring it on to them <laughs> all of a sudden. Mm, you don't have to bring okay. it on. Because in Africa, we have this thing where the husband is good because he does these things for us. But when the wife came in, he stopped doing them. So she's the one who did not make him do them again. Whereas there are expenses. There are things to run. We, we have a, a lot of things to do. There so why would you? Too. There is family, family, too, family too. And they don't have to be co his complete responsibility. But I, 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 I'm really averse to you coming in and telling him to suddenly stop taking care of people that he has been taking care of It doesn't have to be everything. Have you seen a situation where somebody in his family, you want to travel somewhere, it's brother that has to pay for it. You, your child wants to go to school, it's brother that has to do it. And you've been doing it because it was comfortable for you. But now when you have children, so wait, am I the one who's going to be taking care of us? And then you keep taking care of all of those things. You're going to have to cut it down. You have to make them understand that I'm going to be getting married soon, so I may not be able to do as much. Yeah, so he can do that. But if he doesn't, I am not going to. I'm not going to come between him and his family and spending money on them. All I know is you will continue taking care of me because remember what I said: one hundred percent of my. Uh, taking care of is on you. Yeah. So long as you do that, what you do, I cannot. I, what you do with your money? Just to choose their children. In a way, they have to See, look at I'm the telling person. you these things because there are people who go through mm -hmm. this at this present time. You have a family, you have your extended family, and you have your own family to raise, but they still want to get up to your throat. They believe because you have a house in Lekki, so you're a very rich person. You got all the money. You, you have everything. You better be rich to have a house say, in Lekki. No. no. <laughs> you better be rich. No, 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 no. Let's say you had the house in 2008. Mm -hmm. This is 2020. Mm -hmm. Is the economy the same now? Okay. It's not. And if, 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 I man, if, I, if I were a man and you say that to me, it can really turn me off because I just feel... You, you are thinking that I'm not sensible enough to know what I can do and cannot do. Anyway, you are the one actually guided. I, I, honestly, ego. You I, can, I can write you off. Ego. I can write you off for that. You need a better man. He will sort himself out. They will. They, they will have a dialogue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yes. by the time you're having the dialogue <laughs> and the man feels okay, we can't have the. I can't be having this conversation mm -hmm. with you. He will tell you, B. I came and proposed, and if I thought I couldn't handle it, then I, I wouldn't have done it. But if I can handle it, let it be. Mine is to take care of you. And on that note, I must say thank you to all of us. It's been wonderful, warm chats, and I know that um, our audiences have actually picked a whole lot. The guys there, whether, or not you, whether you like it or not, too, I'm going with my sister here. She says, I am your responsibility, 100%. No joint need... account. No joint account? Yes. No. You can have your joint account for your purpose. I'm not and saying you should or you should next not. Next of kin. You know? But you must make sure that you <laughs> provide for your wife. And I still insist, the money you give to your wife, forget that she tells you that our money is our money and my mm. money is my money. Okay. Everything a woman does, it does for her man. When she takes care of her children, She's taking care of your children. When she dresses up well, looking good, people will say, oh, her husband is trying. So it's not a waste. <laughs>